Hey y'all, hey, welcome to Tommy Bites TV. So y'all, today we will be finding out what's in my cabinets because I have to go grocery shopping next week. So I have to start planning what I'm going to do. So if you don't know, and if you're new here, welcome to Tommy Bikes TV. If you're returning, welcome back. Um, before I start, go ahead and like the video and make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notifications so you'll know when I post a video. Again, we are doing a three month pantry. We, that's what we're striving for y'all. But we have a working pantry. Um, there are some long-term things in there but everything is in time because prepping is not a sprint it's a marathon and with the working pantry you know that means you're eating out of that pantry so me and my kids we are eating out of that pantry when my husband is off the road he's eating out that pantry um so i went shopping uh the other day and I did, y'all saw that, and I had got like bologna and all that stuff. And I told you, my kids don't eat bologna. Well, my kids don't eat bologna unless it's like in, if it's beef bologna and it's in some pork and beans, then they'll eat it. But my husband came home and I was going to cook the pork and beans and stuff for the kids yesterday. Little did I know that over the weekend when my husband was here, he had eaten the whole pack. And I'm like, oh. Okay, I got to start buying more bologna just for when he's home. I didn't realize he ate bologna that much. Anyway, and we've been together forever, seems like. Okay, so we're about to look in these pantries. Well, not the, yeah, I'm going to look in the pantry too because I need to know what's in there. So I'm going to look in the cabinets first. Take inventory of what I need, um, what I need to get. Maybe what some things I've forgotten to get. I don't know. So y'all, um, if you haven't started a, you know, oh, excuse me. And y'all forgive me. I have on no makeup. I just threw my hair up. Um, because I really need to get this video done. But I got time for all that. Um, we are trying to prep, we are trying to uh get prepared for what they say is going to be what the third wave second wave i i really can't keep up so if nothing happens guess what we have food in our pantry and i'm trying to lessen my trips to the um grocery stores from you know two and three times a week to just maybe once or twice a week and i'm gonna try to do those on tuesdays and so let me stop talking and let me get busy all right, so we're gonna, I'm using this cabinet, these two cabinets here. Well, really, I'm using all of these cabinets here. As you can see, I gotta back out because I'm using all of these cabinets right here. Um, and I'm also using the cabinets right here. Um, I do have my some dishes in here though. So I'm really just using this side over here and then of course my pantry. So back to over here, say hello to the fish. Anyway, <laughs> let me stop. Um, y'all, this is important. And I'm, I know I'm, you know, playing around, but this is very important. You want to make sure that you have what your family likes to eat. There are a lot of lists out there of um, items that you can purchase that, you know, people have already planned out you can print out and those are all good but if it's something on that list that you know your family don't eat do not buy it or if you want to try it just buy one and that way you're not wasting your money or you're not wasting shelf space that you could use for something that your family actually eats okay so in this one i'm doing pastas and pasta sauce i just used my last two jars of spaghetti sauce so i definitely have to stock up on that again 
um i'm good on these these i bought these for my son a couple of months ago because he was like oh i need the pasta i need the pasta he hasn't used it yet but i think i'm gonna use these i'm gonna make my next pasta salad with these right here um and so i need some tomato sauce i need some more panini i also need well, oh, two. I'm good on the fettuccine because I have three boxes here. And what I've realized is my kids can't really eat that um, fettuccine sauce. They always have to go do number two when they eat that sauce. But even if we go to Red Lobster and get it, it's the same thing. And it was like, you need to change up the sauce. I've changed up the sauce three times. And each time, both of them... They run into the bathroom. Um, it doesn't affect me like that, though. But I don't really eat that stuff anyway. So I'm down to one box of spaghetti because I just made spaghetti over the weekend. So I'm down to one two box. No, one two pound box. So I definitely have to re-up on that. And then the regular uh, macaroni noodles that you make your homemade mac and cheese with. Um up there i just have like my seeds and stuff where for my garden so these are like seeds that i bought for next year to use and in this one right here and some of my own seeds um that i let seed out because y'all seeds are running low too so if you you have a garden make sure that you let some of your things seed out and save your seeds okay so in this cabinet right here we'll start from the top and then go to the bottom so that's what we'll do so up there I have my stevia. I have my stevia and it's it's right there. So I think I'm doing good on that. I don't need to get any more stevia. And then I keep my coffees up here. Um, I have these filters. <sighs> But I don't have a coffee pot, so I just have filters. But I'm going to get some more filters because I saw um, Life with London do a craft project. And her craft project was making a reef. And she used those filters, but she used like the brown ones. And it, I'm telling you, it was beautiful. So I'm going to try to do that. Um I don't know if it'll be this weekend, but I'm going to try to get that done because I want one. And second shelf, I keep, I have like my green teas. I also have coffee here too. And this is the coffee that I use, y'all. I use the Folgers, but I use the ones with the tea bag. That way I can just make my individual coffee. And I do that probably maybe two, three times a day. Well, I'll do two of the coffee and then I'll do two of the green tea because that helps move me if you know what I'm saying. I have these chia seeds that I bought but I haven't used them yet but I'm going to be doing my smoothies um, beginning I think next week around the, right before my birthday. My birthday is on the October 11th. So um, I will be smoothing it out and trying to detox this body um down here well let's see what else i need oh i'm running low on this coffee mate i i know that um sam's club has the huge ones for not a lot of money so i think i'm gonna get that big one that way i don't have to buy that anytime soon i only need one of those then i buy these little um drink things when you get tired of drinking bottled water, plain water. So I need some more of those. Um, as you can see, it's empty spaces in here. So they got to get filled. 
Um, but my majority of my bulk shopping is going to be my meats. I'm just going to get a few of these items and well, every week I'll get something. I'm not just going to do bulk, 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 bulk. So I need some more tiger sauce. I have two here in maybe three, four uh, ounces or something in a bottle in the refrigerator. Then I need some more taco sauce because y'all i use one of my taco sauces not that one not that brand but a different one in my spaghetti sauce because i saw somebody do that and that spaghetti was turned up um i need some more red hot chili because i'm down to my last bottle i'm not getting any more refried beans because we don't really eat those but ever so often and then I need some more taco seasonings. And I definitely need some more taco shells because this is my last box. And of course, with the meats, I got to get the ground meat. So over here up above, I have um, the almonds and the cranberry and pecan toppings. I got this from Sam's Club like two months ago is good until january 2021 they okay they probably taste better on salad but i don't eat a lot of salads which i know i should and then the whey protein shake stuff i need to get another container of that because that's a good source of protein what's what's what you cooking that Oh, you want me to cook it? Okay, I'll cook it. So that's my daughter wanting me to cook her some of these. Like I said, we have a working pantry and freezer. So that's why you have to always restock stuff. So I keep my vinegars up here. And you can use that white vinegar for cleaning as well. So I have a, a huge bottle of that back there. Then I have the little bottles. That way I don't have to open that big one. And then I have the little bottle of that, so I don't have to open this big um, Bragg's. But that Bragg's is a better apple cider vinegar. And it's good to take a shot of that, too. It helps with your um, metabolism. My daughter can't stand it, though. So this next one is my seasonings. And I'm good on... Huh? I'm good on my black pepper and my salt i have this one is open but it's still like full because i don't use a lot of salt anymore and then i have this one that's not most of the things up here aren't open and then i have my open stuff down here so i have the two so you can see the two black peppers right there some saison that i haven't even tried yet um my parsley flakes sesame oil i think i need yeah i need some more soy sauce i don't have none of that and they like to make their own fried rice sometimes and these bouillon cubes that i put in this mason jar i need some more of those um i'm good on adobe but i do need some more brown gravy i'll get that from sam's club and then my daughter likes the ranch seasoning i didn't really care for it i'm good on seasoning salt oh lord i need some old lemon pepper i'm good on my nashville high that's up there in this empty onion powder i need some onion powder and Let's see, I think that was all I needed over here because I got and I cook with turmeric, so I'm good with that. And turmeric is good for pain, for joint pain, and all of that stuff. So I use more turmeric than I use salt. I'm good in the seasonings. Oh, I need some garlic salt, garlic powder. I don't use garlic salt. So this last one over here is my baking. And 
I have my snack pecans right here. Um, this is, I haven't even really used any of that coconut oil. I have this raw honey, but I want the sugar-free one, so I'm going to have to try to find that. But Walmart was out the last time. And then I have two of the condensed milk and then one carnation, so I need to up on that. I have some bay leaves. I have some more over on the table with the rice that I have to put in a canister. I have to freeze my rice um, first. So I just bought this nutmeg for baking, so I'm good on that. I got two of those, I got a cream of tartar. I got some poultry seasoning, but I think I'm gonna get another one. I got two things of cinnamon. I'm gonna get another one of those. And the allspice is full. I'm not even gonna get another one of those. And then up here, I have two of these. One's in the pantry. This one I'm using now. And then I got some vanilla pudding for the cake mix or banana pudding. And then I have the baking powder. Some baking soda, but I have a huge baking soda in the pantry that's not open. And then these chocolate brownies. I'm going to get some more of those chocolate brownies and a couple more cake mix, but really more of the chocolate brownies. And because they're coming to fix my oven today. So I'm probably going to make one of those today. So I will be getting some more chocolate brownies. And then up here, I have a pie shell and one bag of flour, but I have like a huge thing of flour in the pantry. So I'm not getting any more of these. So for the pantry, I really need a light in here. This is the huge thing of flour. I did can my flour, but because of a shortage of mason jars for canning, I took those out and I put the flour in here so that I can use those jars for jams and jellies or whatnot. So anyway, this is my cereal up here. Then I have a syrup. I'm good on that. I don't need any more syrup right now. I have this huge thing of pancake batter. I don't know if I'll get another one because I also have this one down here, but this one you only need water for. I don't think I need that much pancake batter. I, I'm not gonna get any more of that. That's just too much. And that's too much space that I'm taking up. Then my cereals over here, my oatmeal. I think that's the last box. So I gotta get some more of those. Second shelf, I have my baking soda, the big one I was telling you about. Great for baking, cleaning, and deodorizing. So make sure y'all get some of this. Um, My cornmeal and my corn mix for my muffins over there. I'm good on that. I'm good on the grits and the oats. I think I'm good with the cornbread. One, two, three, four. I usually do, I'll probably get four more bags of this. We eat a lot of this um, homemade dressing from November to end of January. So I'll get like four more bags of that. I don't need any more breadcrumbs. Like I said, I don't need any more pancake mix. This is mashed potato, Boston mashed potatoes, not open. I'm not getting any more because we don't eat a lot of that. If we eat mashed potatoes, my husband like the real mashed potatoes. So, um, but I do have the individual ones in case somebody wants to make them some. And with the rice that I don't have to cook, they can cook themselves. And these right here are good until, um, if I'm not mistaken, November. It was, the date. it was the date on one of them. Yeah. It says November 10th, 2021. So, we good on that. But I'm going to get 
some more of those. And then, of course, I got the small boxes of the jambalaya. I got three of those. No, I got four of those. Three with cheese and one with regular. I need to find some more, just the regular ones. And then I got one box of dirty rice. I'll probably get a couple more boxes of that. Brown rice, white rice, yellow rice, rice aroni. I'm good with rice. I'm riced out. Um, and then I have a 10 pound bag over there and some little bags that's opened up and I'm gonna freeze that 10 pound bag and I'm gonna um, then put it in a container, um, food safe container. And then I have my cannon jars that my husband just bought me and then I have my other cannon jars over there. I just have to get um, a pressure canner. All I have is a water bath canner. I need a pressure canner in order to can like tomatoes and meat and stuff like that. So I have one thing of mayonnaise. I'll probably get another mayonnaise. I want to always have two. I have one in the refrigerator, but I want to have two in the pantry. And then two more of the ketchups, two more of the Italian dressing, and barbecue sauce. I need to get some more of that, the yellow one too. I don't really do a lot of cocktail sauce, so this is fine for us. I'm good on the um, pickles. And I have this. Y'all haven't tried it yet. I got to get me some ribs to do it. I don't want it on chicken. I want it on ribs. And I have my mustard. You can make your own barbecue sauce if you need to. And then peanut butter. This one's open. This one's not open. So I need one more because I always need to have two that's not open. That's for long-term storage. And then over here, we have the olive oil. I have one out there that's open, so I need to get one more for in here. And then one more. I try to have two. I want to have two, shall I say, of everything when it comes to like a condiment. Because we don't, I don't know, do a lot of condiments. Anyway, canned goods. <sighs> You see space, I don't want to see space. So that means I need to stock up my Chef Boardies over here, which my daughter only likes the beef ravioli, but I do have the spaghetti beefaroni. And then I need to stack my soups out. My, you know, like broth soups, the chicken noodle soups, and of course the heartier soups. I need to stack them out. I need to get some more canned goods when it comes to corn and uh definitely tomato and okra because this was very hard to find and i got two cans of this but i need to get more because we love okra and tomato in this house um i have some chili and i like to just eat this with some um frito chips and just dip it in there and then we have the tuna packets right here different flavors lemon pepper regular regular um i see somebody's been in the vienna sausages so i'm gonna get another pack of those and some more of the canned tuna and maybe a few more of these right here because i got these from aldi's and they were pretty cheap so and that's the sardines the mustard ones and then down here on this bottom shelf i see I have one thing of applesauce left, so I'm going to get like three more of those. I have some rice that I can here, so I don't have to go into the big one when I do need rice. I have some strawberry jam that I made. I water bath can myself on September 7th, and then on August 7th, I did the grape jelly over here we have we good on the ginger ale because i bought like the individual one so i wouldn't have to open these and then we don't even like these they're nasty i'll be honest they are nasty and then i'm down to this little bit of oil so i need two more of those from walmart and i'm good on the noodles i got this one that's open but i have these two that's not open and then i have my broths and stuff for when I do my dressing 
and all of that good stuff. Oh, I need some more marina sugar and some regular white sugar and brown sugar. Over here, it's the last one because my daughter waiting on me to cook her stuff. I don't know why she can't cook it. You could have already... I'm going to finish it, but you could have already did no. it. Okay, last one. So, I put my beans over here and stuff because they were weighing down the pantry shelf that we just left out of. So, I have, I need to get maybe two more cans of pork and beans, two more cans of baked beans, and then I did find, <gasps> I did find, I am clumsy, these two right here, This I like these right here. The salmon better than this one is okay. I will eat it if I have nothing else because I have. But I do want to try to do the salmon cakes because I haven't done that yet. I love them, but I never made them myself. And I have three of the corned beef hash. I'll probably get two more cans of that. And we have two cans of yams up here. And then I got to get some more trash bags, some more Ziploc bags um that's it for that so y'all we're gonna do our shopping in a few days and hopefully you will tune in for that um video i need to get another thing of water well i'm gonna get two because i'm tired of running back for water but like i said i have all my can and stuff over here over here everything that you need to can with my water bath canner over there so again um i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below um of some things that you are preparing for you know the upcoming fall and winter um, to have in your house so you can limit your trips to the grocery store because that's what I'm trying to do up here I'm trying to limit my trips because I do have an underlying condition and I have been running in and out of the stores even though I wear my mask I want to try to limit it Lord I'm looking and I'm seeing all my grays Jesus Christ time to die my hair that is but yeah um Thank y'all again for joining me over on Tommy Bites TV. I appreciate you being here. Um, I thank you for any ideas and tips that you have given me. Continue to give me those down in the comments. And I will talk to y'all on the other side of tomorrow. Remember that I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. So be the best you that you can be. And when you're that person, you can go out and spread God's love. Make sure you love yourself first and foremost that way you can go out and spread god's love peace love and light thank you so much for joining time by tv i appreciate y'all thank y'all so much bye